Here we are at the Deer Isle Hostel in beautiful down east Maine with a piece of Deer Isle granite. Uh, 26,000 pounds worth of it and we're going to split it in two with a two pound hammer. We're building buildings in here like it's the 19th century and around here they built the foundations with granite and where you find one it still usually looks just like when they put it there. Pretty. Well there's the three parts of the feathers and wedges. He's going a round hole as you go down. It's bigger, but it goes very slowly as you tap it. Increases the pressure. So this is the first big block I'm going to split by myself. Uh, this one's for a wood shop. It will look like an old New England barn. As you drive the wedges, the small crack forms between them. And if you listen close, you can hear the crack shearing down through the stone and you want to do that slowly because different cracks are forming through the crystals and you want them to go slow because they'll be attracted to each other given the time so that a split like this you want to take about an hour A lot of movement this time. Right now I'll split it into two pieces of equal mass, which is often the rule of splitting it into equal mass. Alright, look at this. She's cranked all the way down here. The water's coming right out of the crack. Coming down here. Well, that's about all I see, but we're almost through the stone, you see, and it's coming right square, just the way we want it. That sounded hollow. That's a good sound. Oh, boy. Now you can hear it crack. Kind of groans and pops just a little bit. It's opening up now. Now you can really see that crack opening up. So once we've cut this, it will open up. We'll have two cleaner faces, and then we'll split off those cleaner faces. This rock contains about 150 cubic feet of granite. We're going to split it down into 20 blocks of about equal size, measuring uh, 8 inches by 16 inches by 5 feet. Those blocks will contain 5 cubic feet of granite at 160 pounds a cubic foot so they'll weigh 800 pounds a piece we'll have 20 of them and then we'll have 50 cubic feet left over to do something else oh now you can hear a lot of cracking
back right to there. See how loose that's gotten. The stone has completely given way at this point. Well, it's two pieces of rock. Now what do we do? 